Dear students, I, Mr. Vishal Shah, Assistant Professor, Krishna Institute of Pharmacy, Karad, welcome you all to the first lecture of Pharmaceutical Organic Chemistry 2, Benzene and its Derivatives. Now, what are the different learning outcomes after this session? After this session, learners will be able to know the examples of monosubstituted benzene, structure of benzene and how it is derived, also what is the difference between the aliphatic compound and the aromatic compound. Now before beginning with the benzene and its derivatives, now just I want to take some revision about what you have studied in the last semester that is the pharmaceutical organic chemistry 1. Now pharmaceutical organic chemistry 1 subject is mainly related to the aliphatic compounds and whatever the POC2 subject is there mainly we are focusing on the aromatic compounds. So just we will see first the what is the difference between the aliphatic compounds and aromatic compounds. Now if you remember we have seen different compounds like alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, alcohols, ether, esters. Now whatever these compounds that you have studied they are belonging to the aliphatic compounds. Now which are different al aliphatic compounds and what, what is the meaning of aliphatic compounds. Now these alif aliphatic compounds may be cyclic or non-cyclic. If they are non-cyclic, they may be a straight chain or a branched chain compounds. These compounds are known as the aliphatic compounds. Now you have studied only non-cyclic aliphatic compounds. You have not studied the cyclic aliphatic compounds. The example of cyclic aliphatic compound includes the cyclohexane. You may have heard this name. And whatever the compounds that non-cyclic aliphatic compound that you have studied, few examples like methane, ethanol, so all these different examples are there. Now what is the meaning of aromatic compounds? First major thing about the aromatic compounds is that they all are cyclic compounds. Means definitely you can say if the structure of that compound is non-cyclic then it may be a aliphatic. But another thing about the aromatic compounds is not every cyclic compound is aromatic because here as you see we have seen the aliphatic compounds may be cyclic like cyclohexane. So the not every cyclic compound is aromatic that you have to remember. Now this is the basic and small difference between the aliphatic and the aromatic compounds. Now the in last semester also you have studied sorry example of the aromatic compounds the benzene and the toluene. This is the uh, common examples. Now whatever the study of aromatic compounds is there, it is based upon the benzene. Also in last semester you have studied different functional groups. We will just revise what are these functional groups. Now the different functional groups like alkanes, alkenes, alcohols, ether, aldehydes, ketones, amides. So these are the various functional groups that we have studied. But these functional groups you have studied in the form of the aliphatic compounds. So similar type of the functional groups that are present in the aromatic compounds also. Now also you have studied one term which is known as the hydrocarbon. So for example here methane. This methane is a hydrocarbon. Now what is the meaning of hydrocarbon? Those compounds which are consisting of only carbon and hydrogen they are known as the hydrocarbons like methane the benzene is also considered as a hydrocarbon though it is aromatic it is also considered as a hydrocarbon because it is consisting of only carbon and hydrogen similarly toluene is also hydrocarbon so hydrocarbons may be aliphatic or they may be a aromatic so benzene and toluene they are considered as a aromatic compounds along with the hydrocarbons also. So these are the basic definitions, basic things that you should know. Just we will revise so it will be easy for you to understand the whatever the things that we are going to study. Now just we will start with the introduction about the benzene. Now mainly this particular benzene was first derived from the gum benzoin. So from gum benzoin one acidic compound is obtained which is known as the benzoic acid and hydrocarbon of this benzoic acid is known as the benzene. 
now in 1825 michael faraday was the first who was isolated this particular benzene and the it is obtained the from the different oily residue say as i said from the benzoic acid after 1825 in 1845 charles menfield isolated benzene from the coal tar now this coal tar is the today also one of the prominent source of this particular benzene from which it is obtained so after 4 years from isolation from the coal tar the charles had started the commercial production of the benzene today also about 20% of the benzene is produced from the coal tar detail we are going to see in the methods of preparation now just we will focus about the structure of this benzene now you can you know the structure of benzene which is consisting of six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms but now this is the first structure means as you as i said it was mainly in 18th 18 or 19th century this particular structure was obtained now at that time the cyclic compounds were not known only aliphatic compounds were known which are non cyclic now so here if you see the structure of benzene which is consisting of six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms here all these carbon atoms are equivalent means when you are going to carry out the numbering of the carbon atoms here i have given a first number to this carbon atom because all these carbon atoms are equivalent you can give first number to any carbon atom may i start from this may i start from this all will be same and all are correct because all carbon atoms are having equivalent nature this is true in case of the only benzene not substituted benzene okay further now we will see what are the different examples of mono substituted benzene before that just we will see what is the meaning of mono substituted benzene now as i said in this structure of benzene there is a presence of the six carbon atoms now if you remember in the last slide we have started the numbering of benzene from this particular carbon atom now here you can see there is one change that here this ch3 group is present in addition to this particular benzene ring so when one hydrogen atom of benzene ring is replaced by the other functional group these types of the structures are known as the mono substituted benzene so here how this ch3 group is attached the ch3 group is attached by replacing the hydrogen atom that is present over here because the benzene ring is consisting of six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms and the whatever these hydrogen atoms are there each hydrogen atom is connected to the carbon atom so when we are going to carry out the addition of one group hydrogen must be removed this you have to remember because it is required to calculate the molecular formula now here the molecular formula of this particular benzene is c6h5u because one hydrogen is removed and in addition to that c6h5 whatever this carbon atom and hydrogen so c7h8 so here we are not considering as a six hydrogen atoms that are present on the benzene because one hydrogen is replaced so this is known as the mono substituted benzene few examples i have quoted over here of the mono substituted benzene here you can see a toluene which is also known as the methyl benzene because methyl group is attached in the benzene here you can see a cumin this is the common name a chemical name of this particular structure is isopropyl benzene this is a structure which is corresponding to the your benzene part and this is your isopropyl group which is consisting of a uh, three carbon atoms and two carbon atoms are present on the same carbon atom similarly this is a styrene so here ethyl benzene is there and in the ethyl benzene there is a presence of a double bond between these two carbon atoms which is known as the styrene these are the common names of this particular mono substituted benzene now here you can see in all the cases there is a presence of the substitution as a hydrocarbon because they are consisting of the only carbon atom and hydrogen atom that's why also these structures are considered as a hydrocarbon it may be possible that on the structure of benzene there is a presence of the other functional groups also for example here you can see 
here you can see that this benzene ring is connected to the OH. So when OH is present connected to the benzene ring that type of compound is known as the phenol. So chemically it is considered as a hydroxy benzene. Similarly here you can see NH2 functional group. NH2 functional group is known as the amine and that particular compound is known as the aniline. When this CHO, CHO means what? Aldehyde. So these all functional groups we have studied in the last semester. So just I am revising that. Here as you see this aldehyde functional group there. So that particular compound is known as the benzaldehyde. Here benzene plus acid, acidic functional group that is the carboxylic acid functional group. It is known as the benzoic acid. Similarly here you can see amide functional group. Amide functional group means what? It is a benzamide means benzene plus amide. See, there is a difference between the amine and amide. Amide is COnH2 while amine is NH2. Now here you can see ether functional group is there. Ether that is the COC. So this particular compound is known as the anisole. Here this halogen is present which is known as the bromobenzene. So this is the, your substitution. Here this is known as the methyl benzoate this is the ester functional group co ch3 so this is known as the methyl benzoate so these all compounds are also mono substituted benzene but instead of hydrocarbon there is a presence of various other functional groups on the structure of the benzene similarly after mono substituted compounds there is a presence of the di substituted benzene derivatives also di substituted means what the here only one hydrogen is replaced by the other functional group. Suppose the hydrogen atom that is present over here, it is also replaced by the other functional group. Then that particular compound is known as the disubstituted benzene. Similarly, trisubstituted means the three hydrogen atoms are replaced by the different or same functional group. That, that is known as the trisubstituted benzene. And if you go beyond the three substitution, these particular compounds are known as the poly substituted benzene. So, this is about the mono substituted benzene, di substituted benzene, and the tri substituted as well as the poly substituted benzene derivatives. Now, also we are going to study the structure of benzene, means when first it was isolated from the different oily compounds, it was having the odor of aroma so that's why also these compounds were considered as the aromatic compounds and at that time the structure of that particular compound is not known so there were certain physical and chemical methods are there these physical and chemical methods are known as the and these particular methods were utilized to determine the structure of the benzene so in next part we are going to study the structure of benzene means how it was derived how it was given that it is a aromatic structure how it is derived that it is consisting of a cyclic structure all these things we will study in the another part